Hello everyone and welcome back to my Thursday Swansea Uni videos. I hope you're all well. If you like today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe for more. And let's just get into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top 10 things I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University. So without further hesitation, let's just get into number one. And that is, don't wish your time in halls away. I kept thinking in first year, in second year and third year, when I got a house, that's when the fun starts. And I was so wrong. Yes, being in a house is fun, but halls are such a precious moment in your student life. I can't stress that enough, but looking back at the days spent in halls, they were just such a fun time and we had so much enjoyment out of, you know, sitting around our table and chatting and getting to know each other and being in the super warm halls and just having that carefree living of having your bins taken out and not having to worry about paying individual bills and it was just such a nice environment in first year and I'm so glad I was in halls. I honestly recommend to anyone if you're thinking about going into a house first year sure you could do that but halls are just so much fun and it's the only time in your life that you'll probably live in an environment like that so please don't wish halls away. Don't wish for a house. You'll get there. Your time will come but enjoy being in halls. But the second thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University is how beautiful the Gara is. It is absolutely gorgeous. And there's so many people that don't even visit it until their third year. So my biggest, biggest tip is to visit it as soon as you can. There's a bus that goes there. Ask some friends who have a car, even get a taxi there. You've got to go there. You can cycle there, you can walk there. It might take a quite a while, but you have to get to the Gower early on because I promise you, you'll really regret it if you leave it to your third year and haven't been. There are world-class beaches. There's great surfing, even if you don't surf. There's swimming. There's one white sand beaches and there's so many places to explore. Go with your flat, it's a great bonding experience to go on a venture. So my second tip is to genuinely go to the Gower as soon as you can because I don't want you to get to third year and say, oh, that thing, that, you know, those beaches half an hour away, I guess we never went there, but you know, that's okay. People come to Swansea for the beaches, so don't forget that. The beaches are great, the Gower's great, get a bus there go visit. <laughs> the third thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University is the attitude of just saying yes will help you out so much. In my first year I was a yes 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 person and I'm so glad and grateful that I was because it has set me up for the last two years of the opportunities I've got, the friends I've made, the trips I've been on, the places I've visited, saying yes to everything within reason in first year. I signed up for every sport club and society I could and sure in second and third year you can kind of narrow it down and you can say well I didn't really enjoy badminton but this year I'm going to hone in on basketball. You can really narrow down your choices but you can't really do that as much if you don't try them in first year and you have got a bit more time on your hands so why not try it? Try everything, meet friends, visit places, do everything you can in first year because second and third year will be harder to do that. I'm not saying you can't join clubs and society in second and third year because you definitely can. I joined sailing in third year and I'm loving it and it's been great but I wish I'd joined it in first year obviously because those people you meet in year one you then have for three years rather than a year or six months so if I could go back in time and tell myself one thing it would be do that again <laughs> say yes to everything again because it would really help you out I promise you if you're watching this and you're a fresher or you're thinking about coming to university Swansea University or any other university say yes to everything at university but especially in first year because that will plant the seeds for the rest of your university experience and you won't regret it I promise the fourth thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University which I quite quickly figured out but if I had anything to tell my younger self back then it would be don't just think the club fiction is the only club in Swansea because it's not and every freshman will think let's go to fiction let's go to fiction let's go to fiction there are so many bars and clubs in Swansea there's Wine Street there's Sin there's other bars and clubs and other streets and there's some really really cool ones out there there's one called Flickering Light which is just a little flickering light there's one called Prohibition which is so cool and there's so many to explore so please please don't just stick at the big well-known clubs because you will have so much more fun if you kind of experiment and step out of your comfort zone and see what's out there because there are some really, really cool ones in Swansea. And on that note, get to know the bar staff, chat to them, they're people too. You will be seeing them for the next three years so you may as well get to know them and they will really, really appreciate it if you're friendly with them and chat to them because like I said, they're human too and they're working but you can still be friends with them. Don't just go in, pay your fee and that's it. Just chat to them. Probably 
in a long shift, they'd love to hear her. How are you? How's your evening going? That would probably really put a smile on their face. So definitely explore the wider realm of bars and nightlife in Swansea, but also chat to the bar staff. Build a relationship with them because you'll be seeing them for the next three or four years. Okay, on to the fifth thing I wish I had known before coming to Swansea University. The library is your best friend. And I know you may hear people say this, but genuinely, once I started going to the library and got out of my room, my work quality improved so, so, so much. Pre-COVID, it actually was a really nice social hub. Even if you went to work, you'd get up and go to the toilet or go for a drink and you'd bump into people you knew and it was it was so nice. It was I'd say it was the heart of Swansea University is the library. Everyone's there for the same reason, but you could just see people and chat to them and ask how their work's going and it's a really nice atmosphere. There's a place for every single different type of person to study. There's an area where you can sit with friends, you can chat to them. There's an area where it doesn't matter if you're loud but you're not chatting. There's a computer room, there's a quiet area, there's a silent area. For me, I love going down all the way to the archives and sitting down there in total silence I'm one of those people. I just put my head down and get so much work done and it's so nice because if you're tempted to take a break or to stop your work, you look up and see everyone frantically typing or writing and you think, oh my gosh, I should be doing that too. And that pressure is amazing. I can't replicate that in any other way. I can't sit down at my own desk and have that same pressure and I'm really sad about that. So definitely, if you're first year or you're coming to university, check out the library first of all if you have any assessment, even if you just wanna do your lecture prep in there. Just go in there, explore the library, get your head down, maybe read a few books. That's my tip number five. So the sixth thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University is to spend as much time at the beach as humanely possible when the weather's nice. So I'm talking September, October, maybe November, and then kind of February, and then March, April, May, June, especially June, because the weather isn't always nice, like the whole of the UK. During the winter, it's cold and rainy, and that's okay, but the beach is a lot nicer in the summer, and the students love the beach. They'll go down there for barbecues, picnics, they'll play games down there, they'll do some work down there, they'll have some drinks down there. So I really, 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 really recommend the minute the sun is out, as long as you don't have too much to do, head to the beach. Grab some friends, grab some snacks, head to the beach because you won't regret it. Me now looking back, I've spent a lot of time at the beach, but I wish I spent more time at the beach. We are so lucky here to have the beach literally just there. It's literally behind my house. On campus, you cross the road and you're on the beach. What other place in the world has that? I mean, that's incredible. We're so lucky, and I know that when people graduate and move away, that's one of the biggest things they miss, is the beach, and how easy and quick it is to get there. You just walk across, you don't have to queue for hours in a car, or park, or pay for parking, you literally just walk out your door, cross the road, and you're at a beach. So that's the sixth thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University, is there's a beautiful beach, a stone's throw away, make the most of it every day you can. <laughs> the seventh thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University is how much first year counts. And this is an odd one and I'll, I'll explain. So everyone knows that you only need to get 40% to pass first year. And that often puts people off from working to their fullest potential in first year because they think, well, I just need 40% to pass. That's easy. I just will slack on some stuff and get 42%. I've cleared the year just as someone who's got 90%. My biggest advice to someone coming to university is to pretend that rule doesn't exist. To pretend that you have to get as high a mark as possible when it counts for the whole three years. I did that and I'm so, so grateful I did that because it's allowed me to work as hard for second, third year to not feel the massive step up and to get first throughout. And I massively put that down to my work attitude in year one. I was loving my course, which really helped, but I just worked really hard. The free time I did have that I wasn't doing other first year things, I was working really hard. and. I'm so proud I did that. If you're watching this and thinking, oh no, I was banking on the fact I could just skirt the pass in year one, try not to think like that because you are paying so much. People forget, you are paying a lot of money to be at university, so you may as well work hard and play hard. They're the two things, aren't they? Act like 40% doesn't exist in first year because you will really, really thank yourself in third year when you're getting good grades because having the idea that a whole year doesn't count is really detrimental to your overall view of university. Obviously it counts. It's a whole year of your your life it really does count it counts for having fun it counts for working it counts for making friends go to the beach like I said that's the seventh thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University is first year yes it doesn't count but it counts it counts tell yourself it counts <laughs> so the eighth thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University is there are group chats that exist for your course join, just join them 
they'll be on WhatsApp or Facebook and they will exist and if they don't exist create one because they will be a lifesaver at times. If you're not sure when a lecture is or not sure how to reference something or not sure about the exam post on there and someone will help or someone will have the same issue as you and you can come to an agreement of how to help that issue. They have been a lifesaver for me and for everyone else on my course and I don't know one person that says no didn't have a course chat or didn't use it or didn't want to use it didn't have help from it join your course chats you will be so grateful by year three when you're all doing a dissertation or all needing help in a certain area and you can work together as a big team because that's what it's all about it's not an individual thing at university sure you come out with one degree at the end of it but it's a group effort it's about your friends and it's about supporting other people and that's one of the lovely things about being in the society being in a campus of people is you're all there for the same reason so you may as well help each other out so the ninth thing I wish I'd known before coming to Swansea University is to make an effort with those first people in your flat in first year to bond with them to play card games with them to go on hikes to do whatever it takes to get to know them and to become friends with them they're not just these people that you're put with and you have to just deal with for a year until you can move into a flat with other friends usually the friends you make in first year will be the friends you live with for the next three years I know so many people who met people in first year who they had nothing in common with who they wouldn't have picked to be their friends but are now best friends with them because of the situation they're in we're all students we're all in the same boat so the people that are in your flat in first year will probably likely to be some really good friends of yours definitely put the effort in knock on their door before going to a lecture or go for a hike with them I'd really recommend Kilby Hill that's a great one it's a big hill in Swansea lovely views over Swansea if you're in your first week and the sun is shining grab your flat together and go up Kilby Hill it's a great experience to chat to people while doing an activity that's actually interesting so that's my ninth thing I wish I'd known before coming to university just to put the effort in with your flat because it will 100% pay off in the long run the tenth thing I wish I'd known before coming to university is so cliche and you will hear it time and time again you're only there for three years have the most fun you possibly can because the three years end so quickly. The three years are ending for me in a few months and I'm heartbroken about this. I was considering doing a whole nother degree the other day because I love this place so much. Make the most of every single day. Take every opportunity the university has to offer because I will tell you this, they have so many opportunities. My whole life has changed since coming to university and not because I've got a degree now. Yeah, a degree is important, but it's all the extra things, the friends, the memories, the opportunities. At no point in the future will you ever have the life you have right now and being at university is such a unique experience where you can be whoever you want to be you can be friends with whoever you want to be friends with you can study what you want to study and you can have in the big scheme of things minimal responsibility and the time and chance for so much fun you will just never have that again you have bills to pay and meetings and phone calls and all the stresses of life and these are the three years where you can step aside from that it's like a bubble you're not in the real world embrace it appreciate it it won't last forever at times your course will be incredibly stressful and you'll be writing essays at 2am thinking oh my gosh it's so crazy and stressful but the minute you're in the real working world you'll wish to be back in your student shoes you'll wish to be back doing student things and writing essays at 2am and rushing to meet deadlines and sipping red bull in the library you'll wish to get those days back i think that's about it there are so many other things i wish i could tell myself going back in time but for me the number one thing is just to go to university i was so anti it for so long and i wish i could have gone back and said it's really good please go but here i am so i can't exactly say that but yeah i think that's about it i hope you all enjoyed the video bye guys